meteorologist Michelle Muscatello with your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Had a few spots in the 40s first thing this morning. I expect it to be that way tomorrow morning as well. So the feel of early autumn certainly in the air. It's a pretty day as we look out over Newport and the Newport Bridge. A mix of sunshine and a few fair weather clouds. There's still a decent crowd in Narragansett, though uh, you can see a little bit rough along the waters here, and that's something we'll be watching over the next couple of days. The risk of rip currents increasing right now is more of an issue for eastern facing beaches, places like like Narragansett, not as much of a factor for our south facing beaches. We're in the lower 70s in Westerly and Watch Hill right now. Narragansett coming in around 69 degrees and in Providence we're at 73. So the feel of autumn leading our three key things, but hold on because summer's not given up yet. We've got a warming trend that will be on the way this week. We're near normal by Wednesday, which is closer to 80 degrees and even above normal at the end of the week and start of your Labor Day weekend. We're keeping a close eye in the tropics, two systems that we're watching very closely and I'll show you both of those. 3 o'clock this afternoon, lower to mid 70s in Smithfield, Providence. Westerly at about 73, New Bedford at 72. It cools quickly this evening, so at 6 o'clock and 8 o'clock in the evening, we're dropping through the 60s and then from there eventually into the 50s. And as I mentioned, some spots will be down into the 40s. So Smithfield, Taunton, Woonsocket, uh, Foster, Gloucester. I would expect you to see some 40s when you wake up tomorrow morning. 52 in Providence, about 56 in Newport by 8 o'clock in the morning right around 60 degrees. So mainly sunny at the beaches this afternoon. Most of us with a low rip current risk. Again, those eastern facing beaches have a moderate rip current risk and part of the reason why we've had a persistent easterly wind under the influence of high pressure. The other reason for rip currents this week would be this tropical wave that 30 mile per hour sustained winds right now moving to the east northeast at 13. At this point, we're still expecting this to track well out to sea, but we'll see some of the rougher surf and building uh, risk of rip currents through the middle of the week. Cold front is going to be approaching, so these two combined will give us a chance of some showers Wednesday night into Thursday morning before that moves out, and that's our first decent shot of any showers this week. Tropical Storm Dorian also a strengthening 60 mile per hour sustained winds. The latest track from the National Hurricane Center has it as a Category 1 hurricane as it approaches and tracks south of Puerto Rico and then over the uh, Dominican Republic and Haiti. Uh, from there, as it moves up into the Bahamas, expected to do a little bit of weakening, but in that position, anywhere from Florida up the East Coast, we're going to have to keep a close eye on Dorian. Seven day forecast, mid 70s today, a little warmer for tomorrow, mainly sunny skies for kids heading back to school in Situate, Seekonk, Smithfield, Swansea, West Warwick. It'll be a chilly start at the bus, 53 degrees, 80 for your high on Wednesday. Early call on Labor Day weekend. Saturday looks dry. Could see a few showers Sunday into Monday. We'll be keeping you updated on the timing of that. You want to